Hello, my name is Jeff Marvin. I'm the Design Center Manager in Linear Technologies Burlington Design Center. Today I'd like to show you the LTM 2881, an isolated RS-485 transceiver, which includes a 1 watt DC to DC converter in a small package. In my hand is this complete solution. Even the decoupling capacitors and a bus termination resistor are inside. In environments where high voltages are present, electrical isolation is commonly used to protect the human interface. Galvanic isolation, which means no conducting path, can stand off voltage. The LTM 2881 is rated to 2500 volts for 60 seconds, or up to 560 volts continuously. The three uses of isolation are safety, protection of equipment, and extending the common mode voltage range, which may include breaking ground loops. Often overlooked are additional benefits, which improve communication performance. RS-485 is a differential signaling interface well suited to long distance communication and the standard was designed to handle a plus minus 7 volt ground difference. Adding the isolation of the LTM 2881 greatly extends the common mode operating range from 7 volts to nearly 4,000 volts peak while maintaining communication. Isolation in the LTM 2881 also provides immunity from high transient slew rates greater than 30,000 volts per microsecond. These benefits allow uninterrupted error-free communication in the presence of harsh ground disturbances or system level noise that may render a non-isolated system inoperative. Before showing how the full isolation solution is integrated into the LTM 2881, I'd like to show you an example of a traditional communication interface. This LTC demo board, our DC590, provides digital signal isolation and isolated power for interfacing data converter demo boards to a user's computer. It includes a DC to DC converter and a traditional isolation transformer. It uses multiple optocouplers for digital signal isolation plus a transceiver and discrete components. You'll notice that this board takes up significant space and makes for a complicated PCB layout. Some vendors do offer integrated signal isolation with a transceiver, but very few include integrated isolated power. Again, here's our new complete isolated power and transceiver solution here shown on the demo board. Notice there are no required components around the part. The periphery components are simply jumpers and connectors for evaluating the operation of the part. Now let's look inside the internals of this product. Here's the isolated DC to DC transformer, which provides up to one watt of continuous output power. Output rectifying shot keys and an LDO provide low ripple five volt output, which powers the isolator and transceiver with sufficient surplus power for additional application circuits, like network activity LEDs at the port connector. Here are the coupled signal inductors fabricated into the module substrate. These two isolator die handle isolated communication across the isolation barrier. Here's the fail-safe RS-485 receiver, which includes a switchable 120 ohm termination resistor. Even the power supply decoupling capacitors are included. This is the LTM 2881 block diagram showing all the functions and pin connections. The input power supply can be 3.3 volts or 5 volts. The RS-485 transceiver operates at up to 20 megabits per second or in a low EMI, slew limited 250K bit per second mode selected by the slow pin. The receiver has a high input impedance greater than 96K to support up to 256 nodes. A receiver failsafe feature defaults the output RO to a high Mark 1 state when the inputs are shorted open or terminated but undriven, as in a bus idle state. This can eliminate the need to pre-bias the bus lines, allowing flexible network expansion and the ability to truly support as many as 256 nodes. An internal 120 ohm termination resistor is logically selectable across the isolation barrier with the terminator enable pin, TE. This allows system software to enable termination at the network endpoints even when a network is expanded or reconfigured. The standard 120 ohm termination resistor still works well even when used with lower cost CAT5 cable with 100 ohm characteristic impedance. I mentioned high common mode transient rejection. This picture shows the LTM 2881 communicating through repeated 1200 volt transients slewed at greater than 35,000 volts per microsecond. The repetitive data transfer shows zero jitter on the output. The propagation delay is a result of two round trips across the barrier through the RS-485 transmitter, 
looped back to the differential receiver and digitally transmitted back across the isolation to drive R out. This common mode transient immunity and low jitter is a result of event-driven data encoding, differential inductive signaling, and final decoding with error checking. Other isolation products claim transient immunity to 25 kV per microsecond. However, they simply hold state. It is much more significant that our product can communicate through an electrical surge or noise burst. Finally, here's the simplified LTM2881 application circuit. One important consideration is proper wiring of isolated transceiver networks. Each isolated transceiver common, ground two shown here on each unit, should be connected to a common wire or the cable shield. This forces common mode voltage and noise to be absorbed and rejected by the isolation barrier instead of appearing directly across the RS-485 receiver inputs. This is different than non-isolated networks where the shield can only be connected at one node. With isolated networks, the common wire is called the reference wire and should still be tied to a known voltage to prevent the isolated wiring from floating to dangerous voltage levels. Consider the LTM2881 integrated isolation solution for all RS-485 networking applications, such as building controls, process automation, and even toll collection systems. The higher performance benefits, robustness, and uninterrupted communication reliability add value, even in systems where the 2500 volt safety rating is merely a bonus. For a demo board, please contact your local sales office. And for more information on the LTM2881 and other isolator micromodule products, visit us at linear.com. Thank you.